My name keeps changing. Today it's Alex. Yesterday it was Robert. Before that, Isaac. Daniel. James. Tom. And that's not all. My vision has started lagging. Stuttering to keep up when I turn my head. Like a computer running out of RAM. You're just tired. My doctor tells me. But it keeps happening. I see every face of the Necker cube at once. My wife's eyes change color every morning. It's like I'm in a buggy simulation. It's what it feels like. The Matrix. Right? A computer model cooked up by some advanced alien race. But that's not quite right, either. I feel like I'm missing something. That's when I discover an old thought experiment. Boltzmann brains. Given enough time, the story goes, a human brain is more likely to spring into existence than the universe is to form. It's an absurdity, of course. A mathematical trick. Even if the numbers do add up. I sneer at the very idea of it. Even if such a thing were possible. Even if I myself were such a thing. Why would my brain go to such lengths to create the simulation I find myself in? Coffee. Pyramids. The Big Bang. It makes no sense. But at the same time I feel the icy tendrils of recognition trickling through me. And when I look down at my hands, they melt. The walls fall away. The sky turns inside out. I see reality exposed. Truth. Stripped. To bone. I'm not in someone else's simulation. I'm in my own. Alone. A single brain in a desert of endless nothingness. And the simulation's purpose is suddenly obvious. It was to keep me sane.